Tracking text and other elements into your video footage can really increase the quality of your video productions. And today we're going to show you how you can do that via After Effects and Premiere Pro. So let's get to it. So those are a few examples of tracking text into your footage and this works particularly well for drone footage and we're going to show you how you can do this in After Effects via Premiere Pro. So I'm in Premiere Pro here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to some footage of the bridge that's near my house but what I'm going to do instead is use this golden gate footage that I have taken from Pexel so I just drop it into my project here and then I'm going to drop that media into Premiere Pro and this is the footage and actually I want it to start from about here so I'm just gonna crop this down so I'm gonna zoom in slightly and then I'm going to right click on this footage and select replace with After Effects composition and what's gonna happen now is After Effects will open and it will dynamically link my Premiere Pro footage into After Effects so it's just open now and I'm just gonna call this 3D Tracking After Effects YT2 and here is the actual footage. The type of tracking that I want to use in this footage is 3D tracking and 3D tracking is predominantly used with any movement in Z space. An example of that would be this drone here moving forward that will be that's classified as Z space and in order to start tracking this footage what I can do is I can come over to my tracker here click on that select my footage and then go to track camera so I'm going to select track camera and you will see it's now analyzing in the background and if I come over to effects controls we can watch over here as it analyzes the frames so at the moment I am about 20 frames in of 150 frames so we just give that a second to analyze so it says solving camera now and once that has solved you will see that we have all of these colorful little crosses as well as this target that's moving in line with my cursor. Now what I can do is I can come over to say this hilltop here and see where my target sits so it sits quite neatly on top of this part of the hill and I can click on that and it brings up three of the points and then I can right click here and then I can go to create text and camera and you can see my text is flat against this target and now if I move you'll see that the text actually moves in line with the hill as if it's stuck to the hill I might want to see this text actually stand up so if I click on the text layer and then I hit R it will bring up the rotation options and I can rotate that around the X axis so if I do that it will lift my text up like so and then I can rotate it around the Y axis and bring it up so it's sitting somewhere like that and I can write something here like hello and maybe straighten up a bit with the Z axis and now as I scroll through time it will sit and move with the actual camera. Now I might want to scale this down and I can select the layer hit S and holding shift I can scale that down and I can also maybe lift this a little bit up off of the hill and you'll see it's as if it's floating in front of the camera. And that's how we add our text layer in. Now, it's not just text layers. We can also get objects to float in this space. So if I come over to my Kai Creative logo in here, my 2020 logo, I can drag that into my layer. I can pop it in. I can scale this down. I can put it next to hello. And then what I want to do is I want to come over here to where this 3D box is or 3D layer. Now, if you don't see that, you might need to, to toggle the switch modes. You can also do that by hitting F4 on the keyboard as well and then select that. And now you can move this around and you can also move this back in Z space 
by hitting the Z and then dragging it either forward or back in Z space. And now, because we already have created a camera, that will also sit in front of the camera. And if we go back to our Premiere Pro project now, it's actually there in Premiere. And it might take a little bit more time to render. Because it's pre-rendered in After Effects, it, it's running quite smoothly. And now I can just carry on editing. So if I wanted to add other footage in, I can just carry on editing in there. When I render this out in Premiere, it will also render out all of these tracked elements as well. So that's a quick breakdown of how you can track 3D objects or 3D text in your Premiere file via After Effects or dynamically linking to After Effects to just increase the production quality of your video productions. And this is a great place to mention that if you haven't done so already, don't forget to add yourself to the Kai Creative Facebook and Instagram feeds where you can stay up to date with all of our photography sessions, video productions, short films, camera reviews, and other creative happenings. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna use this technique for any of your upcoming projects? If so, let me know what you will be using it with in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell for notifications. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All that I've got left to say is stay creative, stay safe, imagine, implement, and inspire, and I will catch you next time on Kai Creative.